After you've installed the Visual C build tools and MSODBC and rebooted your machine, it's time to install PyODBC. And the way you install PyODBC depends on how you've set up your Python project. So let me go ahead and start up PyCharm. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. And uh, on the first page, you enter the name of your project. And so I'll do lab six because that's the database lab. Um, and then under Python interpreter, you basically have two options. So by default, you probably have new environment using virtual and set. And what this does is inside of your project folder, it creates a subfolder called vnv, and that's where um, all of your packages get installed. So um, basically, it creates a self-contained virtual Python environment that has all of the packages and all of the executables that you need to run your program. And this is separate from the global build environment that you got when you installed Python. So you can specify a base interpreter, and here's the default path. So it's in my users, app data, local programs, Python, and then I have Python 3.9 some odd installed. So it's Python 39 and then Python.exe. And then I have some other Python versions installed in a couple of different places. And I could select a different Python, and then that would be set up in my virtual environment. So if you have a virtual environment set up, then you're going to be installing PyODBC into this VN folder using a tool that's built into PyCharm. Your other option is previously configured interpreter. And then this will be a copy of Python that you have installed globally on your system. And it's basically the Python that you get when you run Python from the command line. So if you select this option, there will be no VN folder in your Python folder. It will just use whichever interpreter you have configured here. And then you have to install PyODBC into the library that's associated with this particular Python interpreter. So I'm going to do both of those things to show you both processes. So first, I'm going to use the global version of Python, and I'm going to say Create. And then in my main, um, I'm actually going to copy and paste the sample code that I have in the course shells. So let me go to my course shell. And then under the Content tab, I'm going to scroll down to uh, Module 7, Database Development. And uh, you should see a page for um, database use in Python. And the page is probably different than uh, the page you're seeing is a little different from this version. But somewhere down um, under SQL commands, you'll see some sample code. So I'm going to copy that sample code. And I'm going to select all and paste to replace the code in here. And then the PyODBC that this is using, since there's no virtual end, is the one that I have associated with my Python. And so if I open a command shell, like so, and I say Python dash dash version. It shows me that I'm running Python version 3.9.5. And if I do pip dash dash version, it tells me that I'm running pip 21.1.3 from, and then it gives me the whole path. So this is inside of the Python 3.9 folder that I'm using for this project. And there's a lib folder under there, site packages, and then pip, 
which is the Python package installer. So what I want to do is use pip to install pyodbc into this installation of Python. And I just say pip install pyodbc. And I've already installed PyODBC previously, and so it just says requirement already satisfied. But as long as you have the Visual C build tools, um, this should work just fine. Um, and it will tell you that it's installed. Now I'm getting a warning that the PIP version I'm using is a little out of date. It's up to 21.2.2. And if you get a similar message, then it's safe to say Python-M pip install dash dash upgrade pip and now my pip has been updated and if I repeat the pi install pyodbc it's still satisfied so um, that works the same but I don't get any errors so now that um, PyODBC is installed, as long as MSODBC has also been installed and the machine has been rebooted, I should be able to just run this. So I'm going to run. And in fact, this is the expected behavior. So it's fetched 50 rows of data about um, television shows and movies and what have you from the IMDB database that's running on cisdbss.pcc.edu. So this is the database server, SQL Server database that we use for CIS 275. And these are the login credentials for CIS 275. And so we're just connecting to the database server and we're executing this SQL command on the IMDB database. So that works fine. Um, and then if I create the project the other way, so I'm going to make a new project, and I'll call this uh, Lab 6B. And then this time, I'm going to go ahead and create a new environment using virtual env. The location will be inside my Lab 6B folder, the same base interpreter as I was using before, so Python 3.9. And then I'm going to go ahead and create that using the defaults. So this is creating the virtual environment that will be in the VN folder. And here it is. Um, so if you look inside of here, there's a bunch of stuff um, under lib. Um, there's a pip, the Python package installer folder, um, and various library folders under scripts. There's some executables, including the pip executable, um, Python itself, and so on. Usually you don't need to go in there. Um, so now we want to install PyODBC. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the code with the same piece of code. And if I run this now, I get an error that um, no module is named PyODBC. Um, and that's because it's not installed in the virtual environment. It's installed globally for my system, but not in the virtual environment for this project. So to install it, I want to go to under File, there's a Settings menu. And uh, should be under Build, Execution, and Deployment. Actually, there's a, there's a tab for Interpreter. And I'm just going to go ahead and search for it. So um, Interpreter is under, actually, the Project folder, Python Interpreter. And uh, it's showing me where the interpreter is, it's inside of the virtual environment folder for Lab 6B. And here's a list of the packages that are installed. So right now, just pip and setup tools. But I want to add PyODBC to this list. So the way I do that is I click on this plus sign, which says install. 
And then I can search for the package ODBC, the package I want to install. Make sure it's highlighted. It'll tell me about the package. And then I go ahead and click this Install Package button. And it will say Package by ODBC installed successfully, assuming you have installed the Visual C build tools and everything else. Um, and then if I close this, you'll see that PyODBC is installed. And I say OK. And now if I run the program, it works just the same as it does when I'm using the global interpreter.